Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Wolf Creek 840. This is a great truck camper built for a three quarter ton truck with either a short or long bed. Let's go ahead and start on the front here and we'll make our way around and then head on in. So one of the things I like about Wolf Creek when it comes to construction is very similar to Northwoods Arctic Fox. It's one piece fiberglass construction from the front all the way down and into the bulkhead. So you don't have any seams running across which means less chance for any kind of water penetration. So we scoot down underneath here, you'll see you have rubber stoppers right there. Rico Titan jacks on all four corners, 2,500 pound a piece on there. And take a look at the bolts. They have the most most bolts in the industry on their jacks right here. You're looking at 20 bolts and it's really neat the way they put them in. Uh, one of them will be inch and a half, next one will be three inches and they keep repeating that so it creates a nice cross weave pattern to make sure that uh, you're not going to have any issues with the jacks. Also another big construction piece, Wolf Creek does use tubular aluminum but uh, what they do is they use wood anchor blocks so that way as you screw in it's not just biting into you know a, a .06 six inch piece of aluminum. There's also the wood in there so it's biting into both of those making sure that your threads will stick. Then as we make our way back a little bit further here we'll open this guy up. Two 20 pound propane tanks there so plenty of uh, propane that way as you're out camping or fishing, hunting, whatever you're doing you'll make sure you have heat. Open this guy up for you. One thing of note, there's a sticker for center of gravity, shows where that is. So of course, you wanna make sure that is uh, on or in front of your rear axle on the pickup. Right here's your uh, battery, it comes with one. As, as you notice, there is enough space for a second battery there. So if you want to have another one installed, that is not a problem. Hot water heater right here, outside shower, both hot and cold access. Has a nice blue coiled hose on there with uh, a sprayer on the end as well. Uh, take a look up here. You know, I really like this, what they did with the graphics. You know, they kind of have like claw marks coming down right there. Looks really tough, right? Goes along with the Wolf Creek. I think it's, it's kind of neat. Take a look underneath, uh, diamond plating all the way along the side here as well, which is great. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about it as you're sliding it in and out of the pickup. On the back of the 840, we have a lot of great features. The, uh, starting up top, you'll notice you have the power awning right there. So just touch of a button, that rolls out. Same thing to go back in. That way you can set up base camp right back here. Also, you'll see up top, they have a nice little luggage rack. Makes it nice and easy to climb up on top as well. Of course, the attached ladder here right there. But that way as you get up to the top, gives you a nice handhold so you can go up on the top. Fully walkable roof on here as well I may add. Uh, then as we make our way uh, down a little bit further you have great access. You can open up this side door right here. You can see right there is your termination so it is nice and easy to get to. Access right here as well, so you can see a lot of your plumbing right there. Um, you know, you have those right here, your jacks, the controllers stored in there as well. And then a foldable step, that way you can just go ahead and fold that guy right back up. Electrical outlets, if you want to plug anything in, you can go ahead and do so. Um, you know, whether that is um, your a grill or your electric griddle, rather, whatever else you want. But it's nice to have a plug in right here underneath that awning. Some storage right here, so you can go ahead and put your sewer hose right there in the bumper. Uh, one thing on the Rico Titan jacks I like as well, they have this little swiper seal. That's really cool. They have that on all four jacks. That way it makes sure your jacks stay nice and clean. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Wolf Creek 840. This particular model is in the Shimmering Sands interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here. So this is an excellent dinette area. You can see you kind of have like a pseudo U shape here. Uh, the table they went ahead and angled so it does maximize space as you walk through. Uh, the cool thing about this is you can drop this down into a bed as well for additional sleeping space. They've actually provided shorter legs so you remove these legs, put the short ones in to help support the table here and then of course it uh, sits right in this space and if you fill it in with the cushions which helps create that bed. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, well maybe you won't, but if you look right over here uh, you can see an electrical outlet. So that's pretty neat too. So if you uh, do need to work on a laptop, tablet, or charge a cell phone at the table, you can go ahead and do that. Also very easy access to everything underneath the dinette. You can go ahead and open that up. You can see the little storage area right there. And then this one is actually much larger if you can take a peek right in there. So very easy access to your storage. 
Then as we move up, a couple windows right here let in a lot of natural light during the day. And then at night, you have LED lights throughout. LED lights are great because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the energy. So that way, as you are out there, it'll be much less of a drain on the battery. Up top here, uh, so this is multiple purpose. You can open this up, use it for storage. Uh, if you see right here, there is a mattress, this piece of wood. There's actually another mattress behind that. So it does, it is deeper. It does go all the way back to the wall. But the reason, of course, for the mattresses is this is also a drop down bunk. Uh, so again, if you want the sleeping space, you can go ahead and drop that down. If you don't plan on using this as a bunk, but you want the storage, just take this stuff out, leave it at home. You get all that extra storage area. If you want to fold this down and put it your fishing poles or guns up there, you can certainly do that. Um, so again, just a multi-purpose, definitely a great use of space. Right up top here, you'll see two speakers. Uh, that's controlled by our multimedia center, which I'll show you in just a bit. That way, if you want to listen to some music in here, you can absolutely do that. Across the way, we uh, enter into our kitchen. Take a look at the countertop space. You have awesome countertop space in the 840. All this prep space right here, they give you a sink top cover as well as a cooktop cover so you can utilize all of this. Um, and then the, the cooktop here, we lift the cover up. This does bend in half, but uh, three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one here is high output. Um, great flame control on the Atwood as well. And if you take a look right underneath here, you'll see the uh, conventional 16 inch oven. Right here, we'll open this guy up. Nice large drawer. Uh, it's not very deep, but you do have a lot of space there. Great for like pizza pans. If you want to put a pizza pan or something like that in there. Then coming up here, bank of three full extension drawers, perfect for all of your silverware and serving utensils. Uh, and then right under here, if you can take a look in there, this gives you a little bit of storage, but also access to your water heater right there. Now the sink top, we'll go ahead and lift this guy up. You can take a look at the sink. Single bowl round sink, but it is nice and deep. So if you have bigger pots and pans, you can certainly fit them in there. And then you have the high rise faucet as well. Uh, if we take a look up top, we can see some of the storage. Microwave right here, uh, fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Excellent storage right there up top. So if you can take a look, it gives you great pantry storage. Of course, we have a window here, LED light there as well. Uh, two plugins, you have one plug-in right here. So if you wanna put your coffee maker back there, plenty of room for it. a great spot in my opinion. Spice rack here as well. And then you have another plug-in right here with the GFI plug. Uh, this is your main control panel. And then right up top is your multimedia center. So uh, as I mentioned, you know, if you wanna listen to the radio, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, this is Bluetooth capable as well. So if you wanna connect via Bluetooth and use your smartphone or tablet, you can certainly do so. And as we move up a little bit, um, actually we'll start right here to round off the kitchen. Uh, this is our Norcold fridge right there with your drop down ice box. You can see that, uh, but you know, great space for a truck camper. This does lift up if you have some taller items. So you can go ahead and fit your you know, half gallon of OJ or whatever in there. Of course, this does run off of both propane and electric. It has automatic switch over for you. Across the way is the bathroom. Now they've done something pretty neat. Uh, pretty neat. What they have is they have this built in step right here. So, you know, if you want to up out of the way it sits just like it is when you're ready this guy just pulls down like so so that way you can climb up into the bathroom here uh, if you take a look right here's your foot flush lever toilet uh, up there of course you have some countertop space your sink your hand wand for showering and a covered toilet paper holder big skylight up top gives you some additional headroom as well as and lets in a lot of natural light now I will climb in here because you know I do get a lot of questions about space so as far as the toilet you can see here I do have plenty of room not a problem at all. In fact, you have a nice little armrest right here built into the countertop. Now you don't have quite as much headroom. Um, you know, if I stand up, so you can see right here the dome, I can stand all the way up. Uh, I'm about six foot, so you know, I have a couple inches right above my head, so if you're much taller, it's a little tougher. But where I'm at right now, I actually get a pretty nice view around through the uh, skylight here. And again, I can stand straight up and shower. So, um, you know, definitely did a great job in giving you that extra space. Go ahead and close the bathroom here. Uh, let's take a look up front. You know, you have your step to climb right up in there. This, of course, is the cover uh, for your window, which goes into the cab of your truck. But if you want to take a look up here, you can see the queen bed. Off to the side, the left side, there's a couple things over here. One you'll see on this wall, uh, you have a spot to hang a TV. So if you do want a TV, that is where it would go. That way you can watch TV in bed. Some storage off to the side there, as well as a charging center. 
Now up front here, you can see that is a wardrobe space. You do have a hanging rod up there. Uh, again, another charging center with more USB ports as well as your standard plug-in, in case you need to plug in uh, you know, a, a CPAP machine. A couple of reading lights there as well. Big, fantastic fan, right, uh, right dead center. That is awesome. If you don't want to run the AC, you can go ahead, open up the windows, turn on that fantastic fan, you'll get an awesome breeze coming through here. Then over to the other side, you have your uh, nightstand there. You, there. There's an electrical outlet in the side of that too. It's kind of tough to see, but again, if you have a CPAP machine, you can use it on that side. And then right over here, you have additional wardrobe space. So you do have two large wardrobes, plenty of hanging space in the Wolf Creek 840. All right, folks, uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Again, this is a 2017 Wolf Creek 840 in the Shimmering Sands interior. If you're looking for a nice truck camper without slides to fit on your three quarter ton truck, this is a great one. It weighs under 2,000 pounds, uh, has uh, plenty of room on here. Even without a slide, you have great storage with the bunk over here. You have nice pantry storage, huge countertop. You know, the bathroom is plenty tall, good storage up front, very well built. If you're familiar with Northwood, you know it's built Northwood strong. This is one you definitely want to take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to go ahead and leave those in the comment section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Now, if you have particular questions on the specs of the unit, or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be the first to see upcoming content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.